CAG Trident all set to hit the government in Parliament. All set to, of course, convene for the day both houses of Parliament as well. After its parliamentary party meet, the BJP has said it will not allow Parliament to function until the Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh gives forth his resignation. Sources have said the government is ready for a discussion in both houses, but the opposition says the Prime Minister is directly responsible for the coal scam. They do not want a discussion. They want the Prime Minister's resignation. The indictment, remember, coming forth from the CAG report. The Prime Minister comes in the direct line of fire. He was looking after the coal ministry when the auction took place. Now, this is the agenda. Enough ammunition for the BJP as well. The opposition party is holding a meeting also to chalk out their strategy. There was some disagreement on whether or not to seek a JPC or not into the Colgate scam. But for the moment, uh, a united front from the opposition, the BJP has decided it's uh, game plan as of now, they will be storming both wells of the house, houses in the Lok Sabha, the, uh, the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha as well. Sources also pointing out that the NDA will not allow any kind of discussion whatsoever. The Prime Minister's resignation is all that they want at this stage. Let's get a word now from political editor Javed Ansari. Javed, expected scenes playing out in Parliament. Barely a few minutes are the proceedings lasting. Both houses adjourned for the moment following the ruckus. That's true, Aditya, and this is an indication of things to come for at least for the next couple of days. The believe that they have the Prime Minister where they want him to. They Now their claims have been, their allegations have been backed by the constitutional authority, that of the CAG, and therefore they believe that they should make this for whatever it was. They will continue to hammer away at the government, and especially at the Prime Minister, because it's, the Prime Minister's integrity has been uh, one, something which has never been challenged before, and this is the first time. Now that the CAG has come out with his support, they will continue to turn the heat on him and extract as much mileage as they can. But J Javed, when you look at the monsoon session, concluding on the 7th, most certainly the order of business has been delayed on various previous occasions as well. Just this time around, uh, it's a clear strategy from the opposition. That you're like you're saying, the first two days, no, nothing will be conducted in Parliament. They've decided to storm the well of the House. No notices will be given. We're playing out pictures as well of just what happened a few moments ago. Uh, most certainly a cause of concern. Yes, the government has expressed a desire to discuss this, uh, but certainly unrelenting the opposition. Indeed they are, and the strategy is to use this uh, to, uh, you know, by getting a bedlam in the House and by stalling Parliament, they want to focus attention on the CAG's report. They don't hmm. want it to die down. In the last week, given the long weekend that you've had, they, the opposition probably fears that, you know, this issue will get washed away. And therefore, they want to continue to focus on this because this, uh, indicts the Prime Minister and therefore, you know, they believe that this is a good opportunity for them to draw political mileage from. And J Javed, one also heard about, you know, a few fissures within the opposition as far as the strategy goes for what needed to be done today. Uh, one section felt that the JPC should not be sought immediately given, you know, it would perhaps dilute, uh, you know, the direct attack which they were going for as far as the Prime Minister is concerned, something which they perhaps will bring into play uh, a few days later, like you point out as well. For the moment, uh, this is what we're going to witness. The JPC yes. can wait. Uh, yes, the JPC will wait because the JP, even the government, you know, irrespective of who demands it, it's for the government to grant this. Hmm. And the government will probably take its time, so they will, from, uh, like last time, if you remember, the entire winter session was washed out before the government agreed to a JPC on the 2G. So JPC is the last resort right now. They want to stall the House, focus attention on the issue of corruption, especially charges surrounding the Prime Minister. And then probably later on, after a couple of days, at, in some point of time, they might agree to a JPC. But J Javed, you've closely sort of watched this troubled relationship between the Prime Minister and the opposition, as one would expect. But much like Pranam Mukherjee, there was a lot of respect for the Prime Minister. There was never any corruption taint on him. Uh, yes, the only criticism was that he's, he's silent, he's not an active Prime Minister. Uh, some would, you know, perhaps go to the extent of calling him a puppet at, at the hands of other power forces within the Congress, but never so much corruption. This time, uh, this opportunity is something which the BJP, the opposition has, uh, you know, got their hands on and they want to make, you know, full use of it. Yes, opposition leaders have been telling us, I have spoken to more than one opposition leader uh, yesterday and this morning, and they said that this is a god sent opportunity because they believe that the, for the UPA's biggest asset has been the Prime Minister's image. Uh, uh, he is Prime Minister's in the public perception about him is that he's above board, especially on financial matters. And mm -hmm. therefore they believe that with the CAG's report now to back their claims, they can chip away the Prime Minister's credibility and indeed that of the UPA government.